talking to Kenma after that. We could smile. Hey everyone, welcome to Elevate Your Power Level, where we analyze the artwork, life lessons, and sports movements from anime. In this video, I'll be reacting to the latest Haikyuu movie trailer announcement for the Battle of the Garbage Dump and re-watching Season 1, Episode 12 to relive that first encounter between Nekoma and Karasuno. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications for my weekly anime reaction videos. Now let's get this Haikyuu party started. Alright, first off, I can't read any of the Japanese characters on the bottom of the title so i'm just going to this blind i have no idea what this is about and i haven't read the manga so this will be super fresh i'm assuming this is continuing the story after season four by the way i love japanese design i just love like east asian design in general just like very bold vertical simple clean definitely inspires a lot of my clothing as well that must be hinata's voice Ooh, red. Nekoma? Kenma. So it must be a flashback of their forming of their friendship. Not sure what that says. But looks like, oh, back to the Nekoma and Karasuno practice game. The battle of the garbage dump, I think. Right, Nakoma's a cat. Ooh, now we have some new footage with that rock music. This looks like new animation. Or is this just a recap? No, I think it's just a recap. Because I think they already played each other in these tournaments. Yeah, I remember. I think I remember that play. Ooh, talking to Kenma after that. Ooh, that wicked smile. Gosh, I wish I knew what they said. Okay, February 16th. My interpretation is that the first movie is going to come out on this date. But I, I can't get over just how awesome this design is. Look at that. Just that really nice texture of haiku in Japanese. And then just like a bold, red, white, simple, in your face, but not too aggressive. I love that design. The good news is I did find a video with subtitles, so I actually know what they're saying in the video. And hopefully I think this video translated some of the text. But I wanna give a special thanks to Joe Carter for giving the suggestion and referring me to Triana Nero, who made a video with subtitles. So we're gonna watch her version with the subtitles so I actually know <laughs> what's being said. Okay, so we look at the bottom, Haikyuu, Battle of the Garbage Dump. So I was correct in thinking that it was gonna be some classic battle between those two schools. Translation, subs, Triana Nero, thank you. Do you like volleyball? Okay, that just reverts back to their first conversation about how Kenma doesn't really get excited about volleyball. Will make you say it was frustrating or it was fun. Okay, so Hinata is trying to deepen Kenma's experience to make it more interesting beyond just, uh, I guess I'm kind of there, I'm kind of not. Ah, so Kenma is actually going to look forward to their game. And Kenma does remember that Hinata does something interesting every time. Oh, play a different kind of game against you. It's instantly game over. Just like the video games that he plays. Wait, let's read what that says here. The promise of that day at last. Let's do it. A match where there is no rematch. So what does this mean? That one day they will play in the finals together where a loser goes home. But I feel like that's always been the format of the tournament. So they must be referring to maybe their very last game as seniors together where that's the very last high school match they will ever play against each other. So there's no rematch possibility next year or another tournament. Latest work in the franchise. 
director Susumi Mitsunaka. I like trying to pronounce Japanese names. Time to settle the faded rivalry. Connect. That's that coverage that they're talking about. Let's see who's stronger. So that's what those bold red Japanese words say. It's our match with no rematch. Oh, so funny. And he's smiling. And then he gets a smile from Kenma too. And that's cool because he finally got a reaction out of Kenma on the volleyball court. Let's see what the rest of the words. Haikyuu movie Battle of the Garbage Dump. Premiere February 16th. We got to do a live viewing of that one. I don't know how to set that up, but I'm going to figure it out and we're going to do it. So I made a post on the channel and asked which episode from season one that you would like me to rewatch. And a lot of you voted for episode 12 and 13, which is essentially the first practice match from Nikoma. So I'll be doing episode 13 right now. And I think it's a perfect fit because from what I remember, it is that first chance they get to play against each other, which is a great preview into the Haikyuu movie. So thanks so much for that suggestion. Also, thank you so much for all of you who voted for that episode. Five years ago. Oh, this is where the old coaches meet. This is before Grandpa Ukai retired. The classic battle of the garbage dump. That's a kitty with some nice fur. Yeah, when a coach leaves, you could definitely have a decline of the program. But here we are again. We get the rematch that everyone's been waiting for. From what I remember, I think Hinata didn't realize that, yeah, he was playing for Nikoma. This is a very cute friendship, like a cute budding friendship, looking back at it. Karasuna High School. Oh. I remember the scene where the two Tanakas go at it, the two shaved head guys, the protectors of each other's teams. And we have the two upperclassmen. I wonder if that's a real thing in Japan. Do they really get excited <laughs> about female managers, or if, are there are there even a, a such thing as a female team manager? Yeah, it makes sense why they made it a whole a whole another movie dedicated to the Battle of the Garbage Tomb because there is so much close history between the coaches and the teams. So these must be two former players that became the new coaches. Oh no, the Nikoma coach is still there. Nikomada. Oh, his eyes open. That means he's serious. I missed his leadership. 
Keep the oxygen moving. Very similar words that they had in the the big tournaments in season three and four. I think it's cool that for a practice match they're still all suited up. Oh, that's a cool that's a cool image there. Oh, this really makes me miss Haikyu. That's team volleyball. That's exactly how Kuroko wants it. <laughs> Talking trash mid play. Closing the eyes still, so Hinata has not learned to open his eyes yet. Nani? Hehehe, <laughs> a little sneaky. Oh, okay, you got another reaction from Kenma. That's One blocker up for Asahi is not enough. <laughs> Quick shoot set minus tempo. <laughs> yeah, this actually says this is ridiculous. The most ridiculous of all is that setter. That's a funny that's a funny description. Yeah, having and a setter that accurate. Kind of reminds me of Tua Niga, who was one of the national team setters for the USA. He has incredibly pinpoint accuracy sets. Maybe just to slow down the, he not the first and make Asahi beat you. So they're forcing. I forgot what happens. So they're gonna bunch in where the ace is and then just chase Hinata. That's right, even a game that seems impossible, the more you do it, you get used to it and then eventually you figure out a way. Oh, we touched it at least. Enough to slow it down. Yeah, you gotta be disciplined as a blocker not to give it away. Oh, this is where Kagayama is gonna smash that line. There needs to be a game where Kageyama hits. <laughs> I love the scolding nature of Kageyama. Yes, sir. Oh. Leaning back and then shooting. Natsuki is starting to enjoy it because he has another challenge. I think it's a great sign of the coach for him to allow Kenma to have so much input. Oh, these halftime shows. I miss these. Wait, who was that guy serving? I think that was... Oh, that was Daichi? Oh, 
他人は苦手で関わりたくないくせに、他人の目はすごく気になる。That's right, Kenma's backstory. Volleyball team is really the only opportunity for him to socially engage other people. That's right, I remember having a lot of respect for Kuro. And for him to have such a positive influence on Kenma. Yeah, people who spend a lot of time by themselves tend to have deeper thoughts because they spend so much time thinking, but that's true. You're, are you just a senpai simply because you're older or because you have better skill and, and better leadership? I forgot how they battle it out between the two setters. Yep, good passing allows a smart setter to do whatever the heck they want with the hitters. And that's really tough to stop. <laughs> Unifies our awkward team. Yes, yeah, the opposite. Kageyama, a setter, could have a huge impact. But it's the other players that surround Kenma that make him better. Oh, Nakoma caught up. Oh, I love it when hitters demand the ball. I love that determination, Hanata. I forgot if he actually goes to Kagiyama. Oh, that commit. But because his eyes closed, he can't hit around it. Oh, and now he broke the trust of the setter. Curious what Kageyama wants to say to Hinata. Maybe Hinata feels disillusioned. Oh, he got blocked again. But this is Hinata's chance to try to figure it out. What's interesting is that Kageyama. Oh, does he tool it or does he get blocked? The more you run into it, the more discouraged you feel. What's the surprise look for? Oh, because he not just not discouraged. Because he wants the ball again. I think is this the one where he hits that sharp angle out? That persistence. So inspiring. Moikai! Is this the beginning of that word? Moikai. And Kageyama can, can respect that determination at the least. Eyes open! This is the one where he misses it. <laughs> I wonder why... Uh,
why Coach Ukai panically did a panic of calling a timeout. Oh, this is where he tells Kageyama to slow down the set to give Hinata some time to think about where to hit. Give him time to change direction. Oh, so he called timeout urgently because he's like, hey, this is a moment of growth. Let's keep moving this direction. Now do this right away. And we got that baseline music. This is serious now. Very perceptive of Coach Ukai. And I love that they are trying this and not. They're more focused on developing potential of their offense versus trying to win the match. That's right, Hinata can't handle any pressure. <laughs> I forgot how funny Tanaka is. And I do miss Suki's uh, sarcasm. And that's a good leader, putting, bringing everyone together on the same page. Left off. Oh, they did switch out Hinata. Oh, no, he was just out because he rotated to the back row. Yep, so true. Everything you do, you you learn, you do by doing. Yeah, he has the same hair as Takeda Sensei. Gosh, they really need to make a prequel to Haikyuu and really do a story about the the little giant. Finally do it. Oh, this is where he gets the angle hit. Good contact. But just how I remember that. And that was a that's the error that you celebrate because he finally made a big change. But everyone sees the potential of that swing. Moikai! Man, this episode brought out some great memories and just the incredible journey of Hinata as he evolves, gets better at volleyball, but just never gives up. And I think that moment where he continued to make a bunch of hitting errors and, and, and mistakes, everyone was so shocked at why he's still smiling because he just wants one more. He wants to try one more time. And I think that's what's so inspirational and awesome about Hinata. This definitely gave me some excitement to be ready for the Battle of the Garbage Stump in February. So I look forward to watching the final rematch between Nekoma and Karasuno. Mm -hmm.